What's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to quickly show you how to delete any app here which you have installed here on your MacBook, any software that you've previously installed here to your MacBook. As you can see here, we've got the launchpad where we've got all apps and I'll be showing you how to uninstall permanently these apps. And the coolest part is that I'm going to be showing you three different methods of doing this. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel, I help you fixing the tech related issues. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. Jumping straight into the video, the very first method of deleting apps here or softwares on your MacBook is by simply hopping into the launch pad right here. This is basically the start of your MacBook. In Windows operating systems, we've got the start button. This is pretty much similar to the start where you have all the apps in here. For example, let's say that I want to uninstall Hotspot Shield in here. What I need to do is simple press and hold here with my trackpad on Hotspot Shield and then I'm going to release my click and I'll be here in the jiggle mode which is similar to the iPhone device when we want to uninstall applications, right? So once we're here in the jiggle mode, we're going to simply tap here on X and then we're going to simply tap on delete to uninstall the application here from our device. Okay, so let me quickly do this. For example, here with MacDroid, press and hold and then simply tap on X and then tap on delete. And here we go. The app has vanished away from our MacBook device. Now, if this doesn't work for you, for example, if you're trying to uninstall a specific app, such as, for example, Let's say I want to uninstall Zoom, for example. I've got Zoom in here, but I'm unable to see the X option in here. In this case, you're going to need to use the second method in order to uninstall the specific application. So the second method works the following way. We need to open up Finder in here. Next up, we're going to hop all the way to Applications here at the left of our Finder. Now, if you're unable to see Applications, for example, let me quickly tap on remove from sidebar suppose you're here and you're unable to see applications here it happens simply close up finder and then head all the way to the spotlight search here at the top right corner next up you're going to search for applications right so once you see applications in here it's a folder applications folder you're simply going to double tap on it to open up applications right here so once you're here on applications, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be searching for the specific app we want to uninstall. So over here, we've got a good representation of all apps that we do have installed here on our MacBook device. In my case, for example, right now, I'm going to uninstall the specific app, which is known as L-E-K-H, Lack. Let me quickly tap once on it to select it. And next up, all I need to do is simply drag and drop by simply holding it all the way here to my bin. So I'm gonna release it here and then it's gonna ask me for my password in order to delete the application. Let me quickly type in my password. Here we go. Next up, simply tap on OK and the app is now deleted from your applications here on your MacBook device. Now, if I open up being in here, as you can see, we've got in here the software deleted right here. Let me quickly tap on put back just to put it back to show you a different way of uninstalling the app. And in order to restore, it's that easy. You just need to go back, right click and tap on put back. Now, here we go. We've got the app back here into our device. And in order to uninstall it, the second way is by right clicking and then tapping here on move to bin so once you tap on move to bin type in your password the app will be immediately moved into your bin and uninstalled from your device now please note that in some cases there are a few system files that still remain here on your device and this may occupy a bit of space right so in that case i would recommend you guys if you want to delete permanently and delete every single file that we've got in here on our MacBook created by a specific application, I would recommend you guys to simply download this software right here by hopping into Google, which is known as Apps Cleaner. Okay, so do not worry, the link to this specific website is in the description box below. All you need to do is just tap in the link in the description box below to reach to this web page right here and this is a totally free app okay so next up we're going to be downloading the last version which is this one 
simply tap on close and here we go the download is complete i'm going to simply double click to unzip it okay here we go the app has been unzipped so i'm going to double click on it to install it simply tap on open and this is how it should look like let me tap on don't check for updates let me close my finder next up what we need to do is hop into applications by tapping here on the spotlight search and search again for applications here we go the folder is right here let me double click on it we're back to the apps right so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be selecting the app and then i'm going to be dragging it all the way here to app cleaner the advantage of using the app cleaner is that it's going to search for every single system file that we've got installed here by the app and it's going to get rid of it okay so all i need to do in here in order to uninstall is simply select the app for example in my case i'll be selecting here photoscape x drag it all the way here and then it's going to search as you can see for all the apps related to this specific software and all system files let me tap on allow and here we go we've got all the files related to photoscape x as you can see we've got in here a few system files which in some scenarios won't be downloaded by simply uninstalling the app so what you're going to do in here is simply make sure that everything is selected and then you're going to tap on remove and this should uninstall the app from your computer device i hope this video really helped you and if you find my content useful here on youtube consider subscribing and leave a comment down below and like the video thank you so much for making it till the end of the video and if you have any doubt by any means leave a comment down below and i'll definitely get back to you as soon as possible i'll see you in the next one have a great day